Hello my friends. The big expedition day has come. Expedition? Is that how you say it in English? In any way, I am now... Remember when I was going towards entrance in Petra to explore how far I can go without tickets? And you saw, I didn't get very far, except that one place. <laughs> And then I decided that I will go properly over the mountains from the south side to that place, which according to internet uh, has some beautiful views of some parts at least of Petra. And most notably the treasury building. Building? Is that how you call it? I'm not sure. In any case, today is the day when I'm going to do it. I'm walking slowly outside of Wadi Musa already. This is pretty much the very end of the town. The last homes, last houses. And we'll see where today takes us. Uh, this might be a very interesting day. You see, we already see... Wow, that's already impressive. <laughs> Nomads, Nomads Hotel. <laughs> okay, are they catering for di digital nomads? Or is just such a name? In any case, look at this. Wow. How not to like it. And that's only the very start. We are not yet out of Wadi Musa yet. So now I need to take left and then immediately right as far as I remember from my map before I started to talk to you my friends. That's towards the entrance in Petra. And we are going not to the entrance but towards the mountains to the south of Petra. I'll keep you posted how things go. It might be something very interesting I guess. Now then my map shows that there is this building with I don't know whatever institution is it and towards right of it, meaning here, yeah, kind of possible to squeeze through, <laughs> must be some trail around this building. Is it some government building or what is it? I have no clue. No, there is something written. Petra district, so it should be some government. <laughs> Some local authority probably. Okay, let them live. We are going our own way and it looks like we got through the place which I thought will be the most challenging because from my maps I couldn't really 100% surely uh, get if I will be able to get in here. I saw this trail on the satellite where I'm walking, but as it often happens there are some gates and fences and whatnot, and then it's a problem. But it looks like we got through, and from now on I think it should be a smooth ride. Yes, you see? Uh, that trail which goes there, that's, that's what I want. So, now we see the... wow, this is a nice view. What do you think, friends? Now, we can see again the same place. Remember uh, last time... So, where did I go last time? I think it was that road. And I went there. No. I think it was a little bit like... Uh, I don't see myself, but... 
it's too sunshine no it's not even sunshine today but it's quite bright I can't see my screen properly so any case I think it was somewhere there and I definitely went out here remember when that guy with the horse tried to sell me the horse ride that happened there and there are the horse stables that's where I went and then I came out of that place that's the visitor center the place where you buy the ticket and that's the gate which doesn't let you through without a ticket and that's the museum that's the bus station for jet buses the tourist buses and there this thing is that mountain top where i went the other day remember there was this lorry filling up water and i was there looking at those places so now we're even higher and we'll be walking along this trail which uh, i can tell you guys already it will be amazing it is already what do you think that's cool and interesting how these mountain slopes they have terrace to them they made something similar like swales not exactly but kind of to retain the water to be able to grow things and this is kind of a north facing slope which in Europe would be bad but here I guess it might be good because it's the problem is that it's too hot not too too little sun <laughs> Ah, uh, this is a cool place. This is some cool place. What do you think, guys? Do you like it? I definitely do. <laughs> uh, amazing, amazing. Can we zoom in? To see the road towards the canyon, the paid place, which we'll be trying to see from above without the ticket. And just in case, if you didn't watch my other videos, uh, the ticket is crazily expensive. It's probably the most expensive touristic archaeological site in the world. It's more than 100 euros. And if you know anything about me and my budget, <laughs> you understand what that means. <laughs> I often skip these places even when they cost 2 or 3 euros, let alone 100 or more. So yeah, we'll be trying to see what we can see legally, but from outside. Marhaba. That's the trail which I'm coming from. And that's the entrance. And that's where I'm going to. You see there at the top of this kind of mountain range or whatever it is. And down there it goes towards the entrance and it is actually a very pleasant walk I didn't expect it even I thought it will be more difficult terrain and a lot of climbing and well maybe it will be but if this is the kind of ah, you see it's it's a lot of clay in this soil it gets washed away quite easily well, a lot of everything, <laughs> but uh, the clay percentage is, is quite high. I can see it, and I can see it from the dust as well. In any case, yeah, that's all dry. In any case, this far it has been a very smooth ride. A smooth sailing, what can I tell? Somebody was camping here probably. And here, and there, <laughs> and there, and here. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be honest, it's not a bad place. If I had a tent, I wouldn't mind spending a couple days here either. Amazing, amazing. What do you think, friends? Would you be staying in a tent here? The city with the supermarket is quite near. Maybe 10 minutes walk, 15 at most. 
and the view is second to none amazing love it you know what friends I just noticed that there are some houses built into the mountains you see all those doors and windows we're not very close so it's difficult to show and when I'm zooming to the max well my phone lets me zoom three times at the moment we are at three times zoom it, the picture probably isn't the best but I hope you can see amazing <laughs> you just take one of those uh, what do you call ant hills <laughs> giant ant hills and cave it out from inside and make your home isn't that cool now you can see the entrance the visitor center from the other side that's where we came from all the way here and look at these guys if I understand correctly that must be the entrance into the canyon itself the proper canyon where the tourists are going down there and further somewhere there is Petra amazing this looks like it will be some interesting place we'll see it looks like uh, <laughs> how do you call it dryland peninsula <laughs> don't know how to call it cape maybe that's probably where we'll be going further but I wanted to come here and see what's here I think there must be very good views from this headland and it's quite a strong wind here do you hear me? I think you should my microphone cover was working pretty nicely the other days so I think it will be it should be good now as well oh, you can see there are even some greenhouses so I know where I am because I saw those greenhouses on the satellite map when I was planning and thinking how to get in here wow friends <laughs> Wow, this is like a Mars landscape, what do you think? And that's where the tourists, well basically they come in there, that's the entrance, and they go all the way here, and this, thi this place I think is where the canyon starts, it goes in. You see that place, that's the canyon, and it goes in there, and I think that kind of place might be the one where Petra itself is and probably we'll be getting somewhere here from the south side to see it but I don't know we'll have to live and see where this trail leads us and what the map says but in any case I'm already satisfied that I took this trip <laughs> wow 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 you don't see everyday things like this, do you? <laughs> well, depending where you live. If you live somewhere in Rocky Mountains, maybe. For Northeastern European like me, this is something. Wow. I wonder where do we go from here? Uh, that direction seems to be where we have to get probably that headland might be the place and according to map also it's the, the direction I need to pass these greenhouses probably somehow here or over there I'm not sure mm, this doesn't seem the best way it would be very difficult let's try that first and there seems to be a trail up there but here 
I don't see a proper entrance, but maybe I can take that place. It definitely should get me closer, if not exactly there. And then I can see from there how I can cross in there. Yeah, this actually was the right thing. That was the place where I just was. So I came up here. And we'll be continuing here. And there is even a trail. I thought it's finished already, but no. It's quite nice. Not too bad at all. And probably we'll be continuing up there towards those greenhouses. Yeah, and there are some doors in these mountains as well, so someone is living there or have been living there. We'll see, maybe we can get explore these places as well if it's not somehow too private. We'll see. Something very cool just happened. I was about to say, I was thinking how quiet is here, absolute peace and quiet. And then I heard something. And there, from down there, up there went a fox, just there. I wasn't quick enough to get my phone out and to film it for you. This is amazing. And even the fox is a different color than uh, like from from everything else it seemed to be a typical fox but it wasn't uh, it wasn't red it was kind of more like a desert color and a little bit darker parts even like brown uh, brownish blackish kind of pieces and places amazing so there's some wildlife as well here such a peace and quiet amazing no sound at all besides myself <laughs> and my water bottles sloshing around I'm testing my water bottles uh, this day I need some water as well but I won't be that long in the desert but I'm preparing to go to Wadi Ram in a few days time and there it seems to be that I'll be four days without water so I need to test out my uh, intended setup how will I carry water with me because I you know it probably from my other videos I don't have any stores or water cans or anything with me so I just got uh, four coca-cola bottle bottles two liters each yeah I'll show it in a bit a little bit later moment when I have more experience how it works it seems to be working very nicely but I want to walk through this day and get more experience how it works before I'm starting to tell you that oh how nice setup it is and how good and cool and everything and at the end I discover it doesn't work <laughs> for some reason I don't want to do that so let's talk about this topic at the end of the day after I see what happens after a whole day walking these mountains amazing amazing place that's the place where i just went and now i see that there is actually some cave i wonder was it dug by some humans or what is it or is night twice sand in it as a floor for better sleep probably I don't know and when I'm walking in places like this it reminded me about one occasion when my lord once said that there was a man 
who came from Jerusalem to Jericho you know the story about the Good Samaritan and I have always been kind of imagining that that road where they went on foot and with a donkey maybe if you could afford a donkey I could I, I was always imagining that these roads were kind of like this in such kind of dry deserty sandish clayish a little bit stony mountains and something like this in such terrain and who knows I might not be too wrong maybe because it's it's very close like Israel is there you can't see it of course it is not that close but behind those mountains it's not very far and Jericho is further north and Jerusalem is a little bit like there but it's quite quite near so climate should be the same and terrain might be kind of similar maybe I don't know I'll get there one day and I'll show you guys <laughs> how does that road looks but while being here I just remembered about it and I thought huh it's kind of the same setting the same things which I have been imagining but I haven't been really experiencing it yeah and this is probably the highest point which I will be during this day I think so because you see we are going somewhere there probably maybe crossing there we'll see and there is this kind of headland I don't know how do you call it in, uh, <laughs> from seafaring I would call it a headland but I don't know how do you call it in in desert faring <laughs> so I think somewhere there must be the place and there is some human activity I think so it might confirm it there might be the place where you can see Petra well some parts of Petra the treasury building caving building how do you call it so we'll get there and we'll see <laughs> yeah so let's keep walking and yeah what I was about to say that all those places are lower and we were lower as well so this is kind of the highest point in today's trekking or walking or hiking or whatever you might want to call it it's nice weather is good 20 degrees uh, slightly happily overcast uh, I still feel the sunshine but it's not burning so it's very nice a little bit windy but not too bad tomorrow will be very windy and quite cold tomorrow will be something strange will be 13 degrees only instead of 20 and after that will be warm again and yeah just in case if you're wondering it is beginning of December at the moment something like 6th or 7th or 8th or some, something of that sort of December so it's probably the best time to come in, in case you're wondering when could you come because in the middle of summer it would be like a frying pan you'd be cooking here it would be crazy unless you want to become a baked bread it's probably not the best idea to come in the middle of July or August here but like late late autumn or very early spring might be exactly what you want end of December January probably February wouldn't be the best either because then it's not warm enough like now I'm walking in my t-shirt and I'm happy in the January I probably wouldn't be happy in my t-shirt I would have to carry more stuff on me to feel good yeah this probably must be the road which goes to those greenhouses uh, I got some pebbles some stones and my crocs so let's keep going 
and let's see I wonder if you hear that sloshing of the water in my bottles <laughs> it's very close to microphone I hope it's not too bad if I'm annoying you too badly well I will listen myself this video after I finish maybe I have to change something although I have no clue what what much can I change yeah you see that's like oasis but artificial oasis probably it looks like you see there are some watering lines irrigation lines and yeah even here you see the drip lines are here the irrigation so obviously they were growing stuff here but I can imagine that with the climate change or whatever they might be running out of the water because somewhere you see the big lines the big pipes somewhere up there must be a water reservoir and I can imagine from my maps that there wouldn't be a big catchment area for that water reservoir and if the climate is turning to the worse it might dry up so I guess for those guys Oh, that's a nursery actually okay you can see they're growing all kind of plants for sale okay my colleagues I once had a nursery myself in Ireland I didn't get very far with it but for some three two three years I was trying to get that business off the ground yeah in any case it might be these big lines yeah, coming from up there in the mountain somewhere reservoir somewhere I think they might be enough for that nursery still but probably the water isn't enough anymore for these drip lines to irrigate the whole slope obviously they were growing stuff here you see these terraces they're not exactly swales swale would have to be perfectly horizontal this is very rough work so it's more like terrace not a swale and uh, for irrigated things it's quite good if you have a pipe with the water you can use these things for a proper permaculture stuff it wouldn't work as much as well as a proper swale anyway you will yeah you actually see the serpentine type of the road which we are now taking you see the how can i show you it went from up there it turned here now it goes here then it goes there and turns again like a zigzagging looping road down the slope because slope would be too steep for driving as it is Wow, friends, what do you think about this view? And that's the nursery. And yeah, it's obviously functioning because the plants are alive and pots are there and so one car is there. So obviously they keep growing stuff. And I have dug some trench around the perimeter as well. I wonder what is it for? Just for catching the water? when it rains so nothing escapes their territory which of course is a big concern in this climate or is it something else as well I'm not sure yeah and fence around against people like me or foxes or what rabbits I don't think rabbits could live here but that fox is eating something maybe some mice I don't know I won't pretend I know any case let's continue and it looks like we are very lucky you see there is this uh, fence over the perimeter for that nursery which is nice I don't want to intrude them let them work let them be happy and successful in their business but what I'm happy is that the path where I intend to go is without fences and I don't feel like intruding in somebody's backyard because there's a fence around them so that must be their backyard or whatever you call it 
Yeah, that's the irrigation line. So basically, um, I feel that I'm not intruding their territory by walking there because I'm outside of their fence and if there is a fence that shows to me that that is the border which I shouldn't trespass and here I should be fine if I go let's see where it is a little bit more easier terrain I think here I could go to the very gate but I don't want maybe they will think that I want something let's not disturb them and I'll go like this okay there's a steel pipe as well crazy <laughs> just sitting on the stones yeah so let's keep our more wild paths yeah and that's again the same plant like tulip like flower emerging and that's again the same I wonder what they are but I'll be away from Jordan already by the time when they're blooming although who knows we'll see guys maybe I'll be able to show it to you and that's how a nursery in Jordan looks like that's cool to see like real Jordan how people live and go about their businesses proper authentic non-touristy touristy is down there <laughs> touristy is fine okay but I've seen that enough this is more interesting to me some proper real life stuff cool cool wow look at this friends what is that it seems like it could be natural not even human made amazing and there are those entrances in the in the mountains so probably some cave house let's go and see we, we need to go up there I think uh, and from there I'll see what's the next step but before we go up there I'm too curious about these cave houses must be good that's the top and here is the entrance are you curious my friends as well or is it only me who finds it amazingly interesting you see and there is something else as well so two entrances wow <laughs> that's amazing my friends is anybody living here the black a very black ceiling so obviously they were making fire here yeah it's quite small actually and I'm quite surprised how angular are the shapes like literally like your room and even I don't know what were they scraping it with but yeah very rectangular thing I was expecting kind of more natural in Malta I was in some cave houses and they were more naturally formed and a little bit uh, made bigger by humans so this is something very different this is very squarish but I think it's very nice uh, temperature wise a nice place to be in cool in summer and hot warm in winter and peaceful wow very peaceful amazing and 
let's see what's in the other one you see there are some stones against the entrance maybe there were even more so it's kind of more secluded more temperature better temperature I need to bow down a little bit wow well, you see here is not just a square room I oh, know there is nothing much bigger okay yeah but you see everything is pitch black so they were definitely probably there making a fire long ago it wasn't yesterday's tourists it was probably some it were there were probably some people who lived here and I guess would I be too wrong if I would say that this place was a bed, a sleeping area, a bu um, bedroom for somebody. So there you could sleep, like a little bit above. Well, it's kind of worn out, this place, but a little bit above floor, so the CO2 goes down. And you can nicely sleep. Yeah, and there is, I, I thought maybe there is some chimney-like ventilation system, or, but no, nothing there. And this thing probably was a bedroom number two. What do you think? Can I? I wonder if I can make... Um, let's see. I'd like to make flashlight for this video. But I don't see how to, how to do it. And you see here are the cave inscriptions graffiti of first century <laughs> I have no clue what century is. don't take me seriously guys but yeah somebody was drawing some things some life happenings Yeah, it's, it's not just um, black with, uh, what do you call it, like a charcoal, no, not exactly charcoal, what do you call the thing which forms in the chimneys, insides of the chimneys? Yeah, but this is even more stuff, it's even the, what do you call it, pitch? Is it pitch? What do you call it in English? This, the thing which forms in cold chimneys. <laughs> so obviously this was cold when the people were making the fire here. Cool! Imagine how they were living here. And that's your window and balcony all in one person. Quite cool. Not every rich man today can afford such a view from his bedroom. <laughs> I like it. Aha, uh -huh, I found out how to turn on the flashlight. Will it help? <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> uh, wow, there is some lizard. Can I show you? Ooh, three of them. Oh, that's cool. It was worth getting this. Oh, that's crazy. That's properly crazy. Oh, and more even. Wow, wow, wow. I have neighbors in this house. I hope I'm not stepping in some Scorpio's place. This is properly crazy. It's a little bit slippery and not very even. Let me try. Can you see? Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. I never expected to see these guys. I like you guys. Look how, what kind of fingers and toes they have. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I hope they're not uh, 
how do you call it, dangerous, poisonous, venomous. <laughs> they don't look like, but I don't know. I, I know very little about these guys, about this kind of climate, what lives here. I know that definitely I can meet some snakes. And I have to be careful. Yeah, they have a lot of holes, all kind of holes, where they can hide, wh which they just did. Oh no, there is one. I want to make a picture of you guys. Will you let me, or will you walk away from me? Let me see. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. And what do you think, guys, if you lived here? What do you think about that kind of backyard? Not bad. With art. Very natural art. Beautiful. And that's your views from your backyard. The only thing I would like, if I would live in such a place, would be to have a little bit climate with a bit more water so I could grow stuff in here. It is kind of cool and interesting to see this desert. Oh, somebody came to get the plants from the nursery. So it is cool and it is interesting for, for a retreat, but for a life I would need more water. Like if I could grow things here, it would be nice. Yeah, friends, it's nice, but let's keep going uphill over the tops of these homes. I think it's probably very easy to build a house like in, in this kind of sandstone because it's softer. It's easier to cave, uh, to, how do you call it, not cave, to carve, carve it. It's quite kind of, it's still very strong, but it's softer than a granite would be. So you can easily carve out a house for you. And if you have more children, you just carve out more rooms deeper in the mountain. Even with more entrances, whatever you like, whenever you like. And you don't have any issues with, with outside walls, painting them, or with roof maintenance, which is expensive thing for houses. Here, roof maintenance would be cared of <laughs> by the nature. No problem at all. It's very steep. But it will be okay, it's not, I can see already up there, it's not too steep, it will be possible. And it's not very slippery either, so it's nice. And what's that? That's the beauty thing. And is this another room? Or what? And you have some flowers in your front yard. Not so bad. <laughs> Let's see. Some old piece of rebar and some very small room. But it's too small. Could it be a stable maybe? For some sheep? <laughs> How cute is this? You even have a small window for the for your sheep or donkey or whoever might be living there. Cool. Huh. And this is beautiful. This is amazing. Like a beehive. <laughs> yeah. And that's your views from here. And that's our nursery, right there. 
and that's the same place from a little bit higher point oh you see there are some sta stairs a staircase you see steps quite old ones oh my buckles <laughs> It was a steeper climb, but yeah, it's a proper stairs and some shelf for whatever stuff you have. And by the way, yeah, that's the south, so it's a north-facing place. Maybe if you store a cheese or bread or whatever, so sun is going from here, so it will not bake your stuff in a hot summer. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Oh, and there's even a seat and you can even lay down here and probably make even your bed maybe it was in the times when it was more moisture here and maybe there were some sheep grazing so the shepherd could stay here lay on his mat and watch his sheep grazing and see that everything is fine and all the foxes are down there <laughs> well for sheep maybe fox wouldn't be a trouble for rabbits it would wow this is amazing am i the only one who likes this <laughs> tell me friends what do you think about such places isn't it amazing and that's Wadi Musa, that's the town where I come from, came from. This is how this stable looks from above. That's where we were. And you see somebody has built it flat so that they can sleep. But it is all, it was quite long ago, it's already washed out with water. And you see actually how interesting how the water is shaping it. it very neat shapes not not a sharp crevices or what do you call them but very neat kind of shapes and that's everything around it like all these roundish uh, anthill type shape formations of these mountains and that's properly high and and yeah actually by the way there down there were, were these houses in the clips where we just were and here you can see actually hydrology as well how they made it you see there is this is it called wadi i think the the like a valley where the water goes and forms like kind of a small river when the rains come and you see it's terraced but in that wadi there are like a small dams so that the soil isn't getting washed away and plus on top of each of them would form a small pond after each rain and the water will be conserved and not wasted you don't let your water run away from your property if you want to survive in these places but yeah it was all long time ago probably because it's very visible that it's old but yeah probably some some cheese or whatnot could be stored in in these places hidden from sun amazing it sounds like the prayer time is there can you hear I took out my microphone and here is no wind. I'm shaded, sheltered from wind. So with, with the phone mic you should be able to hear better. And yeah, that's, that's the route where we came from. I think this video will be mile long. I'm too excited about all these things and as a result I'm filming too much. Maybe I will make 
a separate video for this trip. We'll see how long it will be. Let's see, this must be the very rooftop of this place. Can we get in here? <laughs> That's an amazing place. And you see, again, these flowers sprouting. They get more water here and more soil. Let's try not to stamp on them. And some rabbit food. <laughs> wow. This is amazing, guys. So beautiful. Can I get on up there? Yeah, my bottles have a slight issue when I'm bowing down too much. I should stand more vertical, then they work fine. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Guys, do you see this? Is this amazing or what? <laughs> oh. uh, dear people. And, and yeah, here you can see that's the visitor center. That's their entrance. That's where the canyon starts. And it goes somewhere there. And I think there is the Petra and that must be the place where you can see it from. So actually I am in a tricky situation because I was kind of thinking coming from there that here will be smooth walk. There it seems to be hopefully okay if there is not some deep valley in there but I have to get somewhere there, probably, I don't know. Well, I have to walk back behind that nursery and go that way. Because here it looks quite tricky. I'm not sure if I will be able to get in here. Yeah. Not the best situation. Hmm. What do you think, friends? Like, if I... No, but I can't even get there. It's very steep. And this is a place where I definitely don't want to be falling down. <laughs> that may be last fall in my life. Yeah, well the place is definitely cool and it was worth getting up here, but I was really hoping to be able to get down there and go there, but it doesn't seem to be happening, to be possible even. Yeah, let's make a pause, have a drink and think about it and enjoy the views in the meantime and then I can decide maybe I have some idea while I sit down I'm sitting here, that's my food bag it's a nice place and I'll have some kind of a lunch probably and I thought I think I'm good enough already to show you this setup with my drinking water carrying <laughs> system <laughs> so of course I don't recommend this thing for uh, like if I would be planning for go for a couple weeks in the mountains and, and I would need water I would buy a proper stuff of course but in my situation where normally I'm staying in civilized places where I have a tough water in my hostel and I don't need to carry much water I just have my small water bottle at my sausage bag and that's it I don't need more but uh, since I'm planning to go for four days to Wadi Rum to that desert uh, then I won't have water there so 
then I was thinking kind of already how could I bring my water with me? Should I buy something? How? What? And then I had I was living in Amman at that time and my I had a roommate and that roommate when he left he left a mess after him all kind of trash and rubbish and and part of all rubbish were these bottles the coke bottles and my first reaction was ah that wasn't too nice of him to make such a mess and leave it after him <laughs> you could put it into a bin but then i thought hmm i need place to store water and there are coke bottles so what i did i tied uh, i always carry some strings and, and ropes with me not too many not too heavy but something which is always useful and this is one of the moments how it was useful when i was carrying empty bottles i was just tying it to my sausage bag so they were hanging like this behind my back on my sausage bag good easy but now when i'm carrying water well this is only experiment for this day i won't need uh, how much is four by two liters each bottle so eight liters i won't need eight liters for today so i just took a little bit water in each bottle uh, equal proportions so it's balanced and basically what i do this line goes behind my neck my neck is here and my shoulders are here so on my front side of the neck there is nothing i was initially thinking and i made this thing already but it didn't do any good it just uh, rubbed against my neck so no point and uh, more difficult to put it on but now it's very easy so and since my shoulders are wider than this distance you see this distance then the result is that the bottles sit on my shoulders can i show you uh, no i can't oh, i can show you on my leg let's say like this yeah this will this will do the trick you see imagine there's my neck and my head that's over the back of my neck and that's over my shoulders and it actually well, I'm surprised how comfortable it is because you see this distance is shorter than my shoulder uh, so it doesn't hang on my shoulder here because this will be rubbing otherwise and it, for the whole day it wouldn't be nice but it sits on these places and it's a soft plastic which bends and takes the shape of your shoulder easily so E each of the pair sits on each of your shoulders and this place is against them slipping away like if they could slip away they would fall off my shoulders and I would have to readjust them each time so they don't slide off my shoulders but this thing holds like it can't slide off and since the water balance is about equal so it's in balance the only trouble I had when I was really climbing the steep places and I was bending down so then from uh, when I'm bending down this bottle goes like this <laughs> from my uh, uh, shoulder off that's the only issue which I had and I'm, I'm, I have been walking quite a distance and quite quite some time already and I'm surprised actually how comfortable it is it's, it's really nice you can walk and it's balanced it's it's pleasant and you need exactly four bottles to have the balance well you can have two on one shoulder but then it would slide off the shoulder all each time but if they if you have four it's perfect it's perfectly balanced it's comfortable i didn't have any any uh, discomfort carrying these bottles but of course you see they're not full i have maybe how much two and a half liters maybe altogether between all four of them so two and a half kilos it's not a lot of course we'll see how it will be with all eight liters full bottles uh, when i'll be going to Vadirum.
but it feels like it might work and it's easy to take them off as well and yeah I can definitely recommend you guys this thing which I just invented unwillingly <laughs> I was kind of thinking where can I store my water when I'll be going to desert and then I noticed my roommate who left a mess and then I thought well maybe that's an answer <laughs> you know it is often happening in life when two problems which we have actually is uh, not problems but one problem is solution for the other problem <laughs> so basically one problem is another problem solution which is nice I like it <laughs> and guess how much did this water system cost me <laughs> well you know my roommate was drinking a lot of coke so it cost him <laughs> For me it didn't cost anything and I just needed these strings. Uh, I <laughs> they're cheap, you know. <laughs> and I have them for years with me already, so I could say probably that it cost me zero and I wouldn't be lying. <laughs> so recommended guys, recommended. <laughs> if you have to go to desert or, or, ca or carry water with you for some while. And and this thing was under under that uh, just uh, as, a, as my as my backpack or rucksack. Uh, I might make another video someday about this. It's it's quite genius as well. I made it myself, but other time. Okay, friends, uh, I can definitely recommend you make something like this. Adjust these lengths so that the angle how it sits on your shoulder is comfortable. Adjust this rope bit, uh, which goes around your back of your neck so that that angle is comfortable so just a little bit uh, fiddle around and see where the best balance is and and from that moment on perfect just perfect i can't i can't tell you even how good it is <laughs> you know what friends while i'm having my lunch here on the top of this mountain I just noticed an interesting thing, which I didn't notice when I was just passing by instead of staying here for a while. You see, there are some other houses, some cliff dwellings there. And you see there is a door for somebody and there is a door. And there is a whole city of staircases, you see all the steps ah, my finger is yeah maybe I'll show without finger you see all the steps there and there are steps and there are old steps as well so these are man-made steps so obviously people were living there in all those places and they were walking that was their backyard maybe they were grazing their sheep there at some time you see there's still some little bit vegetation there but not much but in the older days I guess it might be enough food for some sheep and you could graze your sheep and live in here and by that time you wouldn't worry that you don't have electricity or internet <laughs> by that time people didn't know what is internet anyway cool imagine that kind of life in such kind of surroundings <laughs> wow crazy and there is one more thing I noticed there are some people who are living there there is some camp some tent on the shade of those mountains against the sun interesting so my friends lunch break finished let's get back to our topic how do we get from here to there <laughs> You know what I think? 
instead of going back where I came and then there and there back behind that nursery why don't I just walk here and see how far can I walk <laughs> sorry friends it won't be very far <laughs> I just said it and I see it but maybe I can get down there can I? let me think this sandstone the good thing is it's not slippery that's nice but it is very sharp and if I would fell if I would fall with my short sleeves I would definitely get a good few holes in my skin if not worse so let's use my head and not take too many chances but I still think it might be possible here let's see yeah I think it will even be okay with one hand one hand for you my friends and one hand for myself that's where I just came down <laughs> okay and uh, I'm okay risking because I might not be getting back because this is the place where I was so I'm, I, I know that from here I can get back there for sure without any issues now it's just a question if I can get somewhere more shorter if I can take some shortcut yeah if I could get down there it looked to me from that side when I was up there yeah it is a bit tricky but still okay so what I wanted to say is if I could get down there I'm pretty sure from there I should be able to walk there but if I go there I haven't been there yet I must be careful because I shouldn't take any paths where I can't go back <laughs> because I would might have to go back if I could climb down there there looks like a ledge no how do you call it like a windowsill which I could use and actually it looks like it has been a water channel crazy I think it's man-made it's eroded away the, the lip is eroded away but I'm pretty sure it was a water channel for channeling water uh, along the mountain to somewhere to some cistern probably where some reservoir where they would store it for the summer when there are no rains okay friends let's try it out because I don't really want to go all that way around who knows um, it might be <laughs> that this thing will turn out to be Mm, yeah I don't know how good is this idea to be honest no especially inside of that I was kind of thinking using that valley but I see that there's quite a lot of sand in that and that that might make it quite slippery as well I don't want to try it because to get down there would be the last thing I want yeah let's not try to risk that much let's walk back like this and let's walk around from this side and see maybe there's a better option and if there's not the last resort would always be to go all the way back 
uh, the, well, back down there, there, ar around that nursery, and somewhere there should be some trail, even, probably. Ah, here is a bit better. Let's see from this side. Would this be a better place? Oh, definitely. Most definitely, my friends. Yeah, that was the right thing, that I didn't try to go there. Here is again steep wall, but right here seems to be quite nice. <laughs> and there you see that water channel. You see how it goes, almost horizontal. Amazing. But it was, it was long ago, it was long ago, and the lip is already eroded away, it wouldn't hold water anymore. But you can see where it was, and obviously it was going from there to here. Uh, yeah, here, you can see, it went here, and probably, ah, that makes sense. Wow, guys, I just discovered it, you see? there was a pond for them. So basically that lip, that channel, was gathering all the water which came from that mountain and who knows how far on that side it goes. It might go a long way so big big distance and gather all that water catchment area from there and it goes downhill like here, here can you see it? Here. And it goes in here. And here it was a pond. You see, even today things are kind of growing there. And probably here was a dam or something. So that was the place where the water was gathered. That's a clever hydrological idea. Oh yeah. If I'd be living here, I'd probably make something similar. Amazing! Amazing! I like these things. But that was the place where I had my lunch. I went there, and that was the place where I wanted to go down, but realized it's too dangerous, so I went around, went around that, on that side, and came in here. So, let's now continue along this valley. This wadi. Is it okay to step on these things or can there be snakes? Who can tell me? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't want to meet any snakes. I have been living in Ireland for the last 10 years or a bit more and I'm so disused to be careful about these things because in Ireland there is nothing dangerous. There are no snakes, no dangerous spiders, no scorpions. Even the mosquitoes are not there. Theoretically they are, but I haven't met them. <laughs> well, friends. I thought I'm happily reached someplace. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. If I could get there, it should be smooth sail from there. Ah, and I can see people there. These obviously are other ticketless people like me wanting to see Petra from above. Well, that place was nice. Yeah, this is man-made as well. A small dam which collected all the sand and silt coming down and made a very good place for growing. I don't know, friends. I don't know. I'm not sure if I will be able to get there. 
is very very steep this place kind of looks better because there are many places where I could hang with my hands but what's down there let me see no it doesn't look good it's such a pity well I don't know what's there either it looks like it's not very high, so it should be kind of okay. There should be okay. Although, behind that dam could be a steep drop either. And it looks like it is. Yeah, my friends. No, it doesn't look good. It really doesn't, unfortunately. Let's better keep our bones all as they should be. It would save me time if I would be able to get in there, down there, because it will probably be a big circle around these mountains, which I'll have to walk now. But I think it's better to walk a circle with all my bones being whole instead of taking too much risk. Let's maybe look in here. What's in here? <laughs> These are interesting places as well. If I had more time, I would happily spend amazing <laughs> such a small pond. And that's the place, yeah, that's the place we were just looking to. Wow, I need to make a picture of this. Excuse me for a moment. I'm back, my friends. This is amazing. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, let's see what we can see from here. Wow! Wow! Look at that! Look at this, friends! You see? That was that place where you had these houses, all these steps, and there's a big, huge, proper water system like a pool and and you see there is a water channel for channeling water inside there to get it full during winter so that you can survive the summer that's how these people are surviving here well that's amazing in one way I'm probably even happy <laughs> actually look at this cool <laughs> on the very top of the mountain a small pool so in one way, I'm even happy that I wasn't able to get down there. That's the place where we just were. We came out from here and that's where I stopped because it was a bit too risky. Could I walk down this slope? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> For you guys, probably it looks like nothing. Your bones are not in danger when you're sitting, wherever you're sitting watching this video. But even more in the camera, mountains never look as steep, as high and difficult as they are in life. <laughs> so probably you're thinking, oh, you can just walk there. Mm, I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> Yeah. There's some shepherd. No, where I'm po pointing. There. And some sheep. Coming with bells. Gling, gling, gling. Lot of sheep. Wow. So they're still grazing here. Really? And the shepherd sat down there. I don't know if you can see him. 
Well, that's cool. I never thought. What do these sheep eat? I, I see there are some small little bit of vegetation there. But if I was a sheep, I'm not that sure I was so happy about it. <laughs> well, maybe there is some, something better behind these mountains. Probably there is. Amazing! Amazing! Yeah, but the, the water is empty, so not that easy. Okay, let me think again. Do I walk around somewhere there, or do I try this? I'm thinking it is slightly bit risky, but possible. And there's no sand on the sandstone, so it shouldn't be slippery. I, I should be able to get until there, I'm pretty sure. From there, I think I should be able to get there, as far as I can see from here. And from there, I have a hope that there might be some way to get down there. But how sure it is? And one more thing. I could get to there, but maybe there is a drop and I couldn't get there. Well, let's just try a little bit and see how... Oh, it's actually very good. It's not slippery at all. It, it is steep. I will kind of sit down and walk that way. But the good thing is that it looks like it's not steep. Uh, sorry, that it's not slippery. It is steep. <laughs> yeah, in these kind of climbings, these bottles are not exactly ideal. I, I stood up again. I was kind of sitting. Now this is kind of okay. It's not exactly nice. Oh, here is almost nice. It's not exactly nice, but it's doable. And it is very important, it's not slippery. This sandstone is like a, like a sandpaper, like a grinding grinding stone. It doesn't slide at all. So this is nice. Yeah, but now is a question. Let's see, let's get closer. <laughs> it's amazing actually to walk on such a steep place, but still be able to maintain a good grip. Well, this might not be as, as funny as I thought. This might be very steep there. You see? There is a big drop. I can't get there easily. Let's see along this wadi. Is it wadi? Or maybe there's a different word for it, since it's so small. It's a bit crazy here. Ah, that's where I'm coming from. <laughs> Let's try to sit down. Yeah, it will be okay. It is a bit tricky. But it was okay. Let's sit down here. Okay. So here we can see what's going on there. Well, there it looks to be okay. I should be able to get there. Look at this, my friends. Isn't this beautiful? And these are all these steps and houses. Amazing! <laughs> well, that's... I don't know. I don't have words. Amazing. But will I be... Like, if I get there, I'm pretty safe that I will be able to get there. It is a bit steep. Especially in the last moment there. But it looks like it should be possible. But my biggest question is, will I get down there? It is very steep. Plus I have to keep in mind that I'm 
I, I, I never should go in any place where I'm not sure that I'll be able to get back because at any moment it can turn out yeah not nice my friends not nice I don't know if you see it on camera probably doesn't look any crazy anything crazy on the camera but hmm it isn't quite ideal let's try to sit down and see okay this one we got I'm doing a little bit crazy things now well I'm not taking too much risks but I couldn't say that I'm exactly comfortable with this either hmm if I could get there I probably would be able to go down there uh, as well but now the question is let's see will I be able to climb down there there are a few places where it's almost like steps well and you see there are some more houses there is some entrance it's funny this uh, bell from the sheep is ringing yeah this is not very nice I don't know what to tell you guys that thing is very steep as well like I could probably climb there but there would be very difficult impossible and if I sleep there I would roll down ooh ooh how long let's not try it if I can get to these kind of steps and from there maybe I can go there could I? maybe or I could go down there maybe if there is no sand in that valley if there is sand it's risky oh is it? Hmm. not as good as it was before it's kind of a little bit slippery and what's there? kind of okay maybe I can go let's see if I can go maybe there it might be possible I think my bottles my bottles yeah this is the only drawback for this bottle setup if I am standing I'm perfect but if I am uh, bending down very sharply these bottles want to fall off my shoulders okay you see how steep is it maybe you think that I was just fooling around and saying oh danger danger I'm almost killing myself just to get more views <laughs> no no I'm real I'm real it's not very simple plus I'm not a mountain climber I'm not a I'm not a professional in these things and I'm not uh, I have enough brain to brain to realize that <laughs> so to speak to see my limitations to know that I'm not a professional and that I don't know many things so I always kind of try to think five times ahead and then to do instead of doing and then thinking otherwise it might be how to speak not very nice end mm, yeah if I could get to that place 
I probably should be okay. How slippery is it? Kind of okay, not very good, but kind of okay. Hmm. But it is beautiful. It really is. Amazing. Let me take one more picture here. Okay, I'm back, my friends. And let me think. If I could reach there, <laughs> there, it would be a little bit better place. And from there, I might be able to reach there. And from there, I might be able to reach there. What do you think? It is a little bit crazy. But I think it might be possible. Let me see. Probably I need both hands for this exercise. Sorry guys, I'll switch you off and I'll switch you back when I'm hopefully well and alive somewhere there. Okay? Good news, my dear friends. It was... well, I'm coming from there. It was up there, I went there, and here was the crazy part. You see how steep it is? But I was able to hang with my hand against one sharp place there. So that was okay. It was safe enough, so I went ahead. I just needed both hands for that moment. I didn't want to risk. And here, it's again sitting down and taking next step. And here, we'll be again sitting down, taking next step. Hey, I got to this place, my friends. Let's see what we can see from here. The only thing which I don't like is that sun is kind of going lower and lower each moment. Wow. Is this cool or what? So that's where I'm having my lunch. I was having my lunch, lunch. And that's where I came down from. Now you can see actually, we were there. And from there we went like this. And that's the water basin, the, the cistern, or how do you call it? Amazing, amazing. I like these things. I like these people who made it. If you watch me, probably you won't. Who knows which century was it? <laughs> I just wanted to say, if you watch me, know that I'm appreciating your work a lot. Amazing. I came down here, you see the basin, and you see the water channel, which channels water into the basin from the mountains. And I kind of followed this, but you see where I came out. I don't know if you can see, <laughs> it is high, <laughs> it really is high. But yeah, you see this? Is this amazing or what? People were living here, or are living here, were probably. So, I'm probably going back there to that crevice which I saw from up there. And I'll be going down there, hopefully. I think I should be able to get there because I was looking on that place from the top and it seemed to be good at least as far as I could see it from above. Could that be a, skull, a hole where I could meet some Scorpios if I put my feet in it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's not try it out. So yeah, it is steep, but it is about what I expected from seeing it from above, and it should be possible, although not ideal. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Amazing place, my friends. The only problem is that the sun is setting. Well, not setting yet. 
but sun is there already who lived here somebody lived there I mean here so yeah the only problem is that oh friends I just discovered the stupid thing while I was climbing down from here I um, didn't notice how I switched off my camera and I was showing you many things and telling you about many stuff and it didn't record so I was coming here to explore that place and then I noticed this thing you see that's a sheep house you see the, all the sheep droppings stable how you call a sheep house in English oh we have some friends there cool and uh, then I no discovered this thing you see how they build here isn't that amazing and that's an entry entrance and we can get inside and you see all these camels and everything how they're painted and I was wondering what's there there is some kind of a small room that's just another window which is stuffed with stuff against the winter winds probably and I was wondering what's this thing very small and I was thinking could that be a toilet maybe but no probably not at those times it was a very smelly idea <laughs> it would be a very smelly idea as you don't have a water closet WC <laughs> and you see this is elevated and the middle is lower and I guess that's where the sheep lived and people maybe was living up there at least I know from Israel from Jesus times they had living room which was called Kataluma and people were living up and down there were animals but they were in the same room animals gave heat for the winter nights so I wonder could this be the same system the same idea and the windows but it is quite smelly I have to be honest all the sheep droppings Ugh. it is nice to be outside again <laughs> it was smelly but it was interesting yeah so yeah I was just wondering could it be the same kind of idea you see the windows and the big room a big door amazing <laughs> I'm not the only one here wearing crocs <laughs> that's the same thing <laughs> okay so it wasn't in the 5th century <laughs> when the people were last here <laughs> oh and, and from the sheep droppings as well you can know it what's this? some small room and with black ceilings so they were making fire long ago there and what is this? is this a human house? if that was a sheep's house could this be a human? no, sheep droppings again and the shovel well that's a bit old as well wow well this is something what do you think friends? do you like such kind of explorations? I find them very amusing <laughs> very interesting because yeah, and you see how square it is made so it's quite new well quite new <laughs> smoke what is that? seriously? some packets 
I was thinking of smelling some smoke. Yeah. Well, could that be a sheep dung? Which is smoking. As you see, it wasn't probably a proper fireplace, but maybe it was. And then when they finished, they kind of buried it with soil. But there is a huge amount of sheep dung in the soil. And that stuff burns. So this might be smoking <coughs> bottles. I don't know, can you see the smoke? It's quite a lot of smoke, but I don't know if you can see it here in this, in this camera. Oh, people! I oh know, these are tourists. These are tourists. I was thinking maybe the shepherd's coming and I could then ask them about these things. But of course they wouldn't speak English, so it wouldn't be easy to communicate. But still. So yeah, you see my friends how I get carried away with these things. I'm so interested and so curious about all these things. So it's difficult for me not to spend time and look and see all these things. Although I know that the sun is going lower and lower and I haven't even reached my destination, let alone about the whole way back home. It could be a bit tricky, I hope not too tricky, because I wouldn't be willing to be stick uh, stuck in these places, in mountains, in, uh, in dark, when I don't see anything. Darkness wouldn't be problem security-wise. People are very nice here and I don't have any issues with dangers from humans, but it could be difficult just to find my way in darkness, which I don't want. Plus it will become colder at night. So I guess I have to keep going. You see these steps, old steps, but they're all worn away from water and probably sandstorms as well. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, and there are some people. But these are tourists. These would speak English. I could actually ask them about some directions if I needed. Some jumper for some shepherd. Yeah, you see quite many of them. <laughs> Amazing stuff. I wonder what is this? This looks like some... W was that for sheep as well? I don't think sheep sheep would climb these steps probably for people and it is in the shade from the sun and this was probably their version of fridge and that was another place probably where they could sleep on their mats amazing amazing that's how shepherds live lived that's where we were. And these are all the steps. And look at these colors, guys. Isn't that amazing how God painted this place? Well, this is some beautiful graffiti. Not some ugly and depressive, but beautiful and happy graffiti. Cool. This is properly, legitimately cool. <laughs> wow. Ah, friends, I have to be quicker, I think, if I want to get to my destination, which I definitely want. Well, look at this room. How they carved out. Wow. It's a huge mountain up there. 
and it looks like it's standing on nothing. And there is a window there, and whole square room with camels. Amazing, amazing. I never thought it will be so interesting here. That's why I didn't plan so much time. I kind of came out early, well, kind of early. I did some job in the, job in the morning. But I started early enough, I thought. But I didn't know it will be so interesting. <laughs> uh, amazing, amazing. Oh, sheep. Wow. That's amazing. Somebody is listening radio there. That's amazing. Marhaba. <laughs> yes. Do you see some goats? Some goats. White goats. Here. Uh, I yeah, in the morning I get this uh, this goat food and uh, we go from the side. I don't know what to do. Uh huh. I don't see. No, not from here. I was there, yes. Did you saw me? Okay, I saw you were there. Okay, I, I saw there was somebody, so it was you. <laughs> cool. Where do you want to go? I want to go and then see the treasury. Is it somewhere there? But you know, my friend just from there because I want to tell you one something. Uh huh. You know, by yourself, the way not easy. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Uh, is it that route I should take or somewhere else? From this way. From that way? So is it the same trail where they are going? Yeah, over there, Uh-huh. And it will be somewhere there, yes? Over there, and the side, the high place. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Perfect, perfect. It is so beautiful place you have here. Yeah. Amazing. Do you live here? No, we live in a Bedouin village. I want to close, I want to go home. Okay, okay. You are just grazing the sheep here? Yeah. Cool. Well, that's cool. I like it. <laughs> this is so cool what you are doing here. <laughs> My brother, you have a glass for salt? Uh, glass? Yeah. Glasses. Glasses? No, I have a bottle of water. Do you want to drink? No, no, I drink there. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is, is that your dog? Mm. Cool. <laughs> Sonny? Amazing. Sonny? <laughs> Is his name Johnny? Johnny, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Johnny, Al Haram, Johnny, Al Haram. Go to the goats. <laughs> so, which is the best way to get down uh, that side or here? This way you go direct, there's steps. Uh huh. When you go direct and after this way, there's steps. Uh huh. You go by steps. Okay, so it's is this side or that side? From this side. This side. Uh huh. Thank you so much. Uh, shukran. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Have a good day and I hope you find your sheep and, and goats. Yeah, yeah. I will look for them if I find them in a ha and uh, because I want to close because I think they are very uh, cold and to go inside the cave. Oh, okay, okay. They live in the cave, yeah? Yeah, they live in the cave. Okay, that was the cave where the, your sheep are living. Yeah, yeah. This is cool. Place. I liked it. It is so beautiful. Oh, yeah, thank you. Nice you too. Have a nice day and, and all the best of luck to you. Wow, this was amazing. You saw that. That was something. <laughs> and he spoke English. And quite good English at that. So that was cool. That was properly cool. And he was going on his donkey. And yes, that was the place where I was, where the sheep droppings were. So he is putting the sheep in, he closes it, and then he goes home. Uh, he lives in a village somewhere. Wow! 
I like this place so much, only problem is I'm a bit late. <laughs> I'm a bit late, I hope it will be fine. <laughs> I hope. I need to memorize the place because just in case it will be getting dark when I come back. Ah. Okay, this is the thing. There's a the trail. I have to memorize it. And I should be able to get that way without climbing on the rocks how I came down. And he saw me when I was up there. Ah, actually, if I had more time, <laughs> it would be so nice to spend some time with that shepherd and to talk with him about many things in life and, and how... Ah, these are the steps. These are the steps which he said to me. Yeah, yeah, it's very steep. And these are the steps which he was telling me about. Well, not much left from the steps, but still steps. I wonder, was he riding his donkey up here? Maybe. <laughs> it's a bit crazy. So he said he saw me from down there. He was the one which we saw from up there as well. Yeah, you see, it's even with cement. So it's quite recent. Probably the best place to get up to the stable, the sheep home. Wow! Imagine, friends, how it would be, how amazing and beautiful and, and uh, interesting it would be uh, to, if I had more time, let's say if I wouldn't have to uh, plan to go to see Petra, if I just was thinking to go home when it's about to get too dark. I could just go and have a chat with that shepherd and uh, I could help him to, to, to get the sheep into the, into the stable. Uh, you see these things, how to catch water, so we slow down the water. I could, uh, yeah, I need to memorize this place. Because there, somewhere there, is that nursery. And from that place, I could go even in dark. It should be okay. Not ideal, but okay. But I have to be able to get there before dark. Otherwise, it would be a bit foolish. Well, this is kind of okay as well. Yeah, imagine to to go and help the shepherd to get the sheep and goats in the stables and have a chat and maybe, I don't know, if he will be making some fire and and uh, I could I could give him my food and water and he might have his own food and we could have a dinner and, and to have a chat about life in the desert as shepherd. That would be so interesting. <laughs> he seemed to be a, a man whom would be interested in having having a chat. So I can imagine how 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 cool would it be, and how interesting, and how much how many new things I would get to know, especially because he spoke such a good English. It was amazing. I didn't expect it. That is the reason why it is so good when you travel not to plan things too much like there are things you have to plan of course <laughs> that's where i came from now ooh, what's that some fire big fire with black smoke looks like some tires <laughs> i don't know what yeah. In any case, I have to remember what route uh, there is this thing, and then I need to go left of this thing and then go back there. 
because I don't want to get lost you know what, I'll switch you off for a moment and I'll put my GPS coordinates for the path I took just to be safe you know friends, I met another person here who said who lives in the village there and he said which road should I take it is that way, yes? Uh huh. Thank you so much, Shukran. <laughs> uh, are you uh, grazing the sheep? Okay, okay. I met another person on a donkey there with sheep. Is it your friend? Cool. It is so beautiful here. <laughs> Latvia. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, yeah. Have a good evening. He's another shepherd. And ah, he's shouting to the other shepherd who is up there. And he said he lives somewhere there, over there, in a village or something of that sort. Sorry, I had to took out my mic because I need to charge my phone and I'm filming too much and discharging it too much. But as here is no wind at all, so I think it should be fine. You will hear me good or even better than usual. Wow, this is amazing. Another homes. Uh, I got me this thing. There? Ah, like this. Thank you, thank you. This is amazing. Look at this place. Somebody is living there. Sorry? Is that a coffee shop? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Amazing. Is it your place? Yeah. Yes, okay, perfect. <laughs> he said that this is a coffee shop. I can't. Ah, uh, it's there. Okay, thank you. No, it's okay, thank you. <laughs> he was asking if I need help. Five dinner and he will help me. Five dinner is what? Something like seven euro. <laughs> okay. Nice of him. But I'm not the right person for five dinner. But look at this. I was kind of, I wanted to see that place, that coffee shop. Uh, and show you as well. But he was looking at me and pointing that I need to go here. Because I'm, I'm in the wrong place. And, and he was looking at me and I, I kind of felt uneasy to film and look at that place. So I decided to go and not investigate more but this is a bit crazy in the sense that uh, I don't want to do this in darkness so probably I have to be a bit quicker and I have to also save my waypoints in my map every now and again otherwise it will be a problem because you see where I am. Imagine in the total darkness. And as you can imagine, there are no lamp posts here. Nothing. <laughs> Wouldn't be the best place to get lost in the darkness. So let's keep going. Look how many of these tulip like flowers are here in this red, red, red sand. 
Unfortunately, on the screen, it doesn't look as red even, <laughs> but it is so red, bright red. Amazing. Wadi Rum will be in this color as far as I understand. I'm not sure I'm going the right way. Probably not. I think I have to get up there. And I didn't need to come here. But I need to cross that valley somehow and get up there. Let's go back. For the goats now? Yeah. Okay. Many goats got lost? No, one goat. Uh, one? Yeah, before the uh, fourth day. Yeah. There is uh, the, the boss of the goats. Uh -huh. She uh, killed her. And uh -huh. uh, she have a baby. And the baby, she died inside them. Oh. Sorry about that. It'll be better, yeah? Uh -huh. Thank you. How is it to live in such a place? Is it difficult? Is it interesting? Dangerous. By yourself, dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah. Why? You know, if you have any problem, she be with you in the night, it's very dangerous, you know? Because of some animals or...? There is an animal dangerous. Sorry? There is an animal dangerous here. Aha. Uh -huh. But it is only at night, yes? Yeah, at night. When it's day, it's okay. Okay. Is it some hyena or wolf or what kind of animals is it? There is another wolf. There is that one she eat the goats. Uh huh. Because there is two animals she eat the goats. They are different animals. Yeah. And also there is a one she eat the two uh, people. Okay. That's crazy. If you see the goats. Yeah. Yeah, you will look for me. I will ask you. I know. Okay. If I notice, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. I don't know if I can help, but I can try to bring the goats to you. Or? No, no, you will tell me I will come from. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Look her because this guy, she see her, she look, she look from the top to see it here. Yeah. Come shift on here, come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you if I see. Have a nice. Thank you. Have a nice evening too. Well, that man said that during night it's dangerous because of some animals. And there is one animal, there are two animals who eat sheep, but there is one who eat humans as well. How about that, my friends? <laughs> Does that add to urgency for my trip? <laughs> because they said that this animal he didn't know the name. What are they burning there? That's crazy. So he said that one animal who eat people, he didn't know how it's called, not wolf, something else. And he said he only is dangerous during night. So you shouldn't be walking during night here, only during day. Ah. And poor shepherds are looking for one sheep, one goat who got lost. And I told to him that if I'll see him, uh, the, the goat, I mean, I'll tell him 
when he when I meet him hopefully there and I'll be going back because they were looking for that goat I thought that's a goat but no <laughs> that's something else ah. I'm walking too quick too fast and walking uphill uh, out of breath a little bit <laughs> crazy stuff crazy stuff I didn't know the place is so interesting and beautiful and I didn't know even I'll meet more people here who can even talk English which is so cool but yeah Unfortunately, we won't have time to hang out and chat and whatever because they need to find their sheep, their goat, before it's dark. And I need to get to my view place and get back before it's dark. <laughs> so let's keep going. Amazing, amazing my friends. So that's where I came from and here you see there's even a trail so that's kind of better when I don't have time to get lost and wander around. Wow, what about this canyon my friends? You see, if I would be going straight, I think that was the coffee shop. So if I would be going straight, I would end up there and I wouldn't get anything. So I had to get back there and here, as he said, as that shepherd said. And yeah, you see, from here it's visible. These are the tents up there which we saw from, I think, somewhere there. Could it be? I don't know even, yes, should be. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the place where we were and we were coming down. Wow, it's some distance which we have covered and we're not yet at our destination. Although we are quite close. I think we are very close. I see that there is one fence even. You see? No charge. For rest you can see. Monsiterio. You are welcome. No ch charge is it meant? For look. For looking probably. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So can I? Can I get in here? Because otherwise they won't be able to see. What an amazing place they have built. And no charge for just looking. What a kind people. I'm impressed. I even kind of feel like I would be happy to leave some money to them. Just a donation because of such attitude. They don't know where to leave it so that somebody else wouldn't take it. Amazing. You know, friends, I have a bad suspicion that that might be the place where I could see the treasury from. And if that would be true, then it's definitely... <laughs> then I'm lost. <laughs> 
because I won't get there. Let me see my map again. I found out that the place isn't that one. That's another some good place probably. But the place for the treasury is either here or the next one there. And that could be a problem. If it's the next one, I will definitely have no time to get there. If it's here, we'll be okay. But it is still a problem in a way that it will definitely be dark before I reach my home. And hopefully I could manage to get closer to city before it's dark. But even that isn't sure <laughs> at this stage. Well, friends, I'm getting myself into something which wasn't really meant to be like this. But let's see. Let's go to this headland and see what we can see from here. And I think that will be it for today, no matter what happens. Oh, and you see, there are some small something as well. But look at this, my friends. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at this, my friends. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. What is there? Ah, I just wanted to see from here. It's from there? Somebody came. I have no clue who he is. But let's see. I'll ask him about some directions. It is very beautiful. Which is the best place for view? From here? Ah, yeah. So because of that cloud, it, Latvia. Ah? For water? You want water? Yes. No, no, I don't want. I mean, uh, you have four. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you want to drink, maybe. No, no, thank <laughs> I you. can give you if you want. No, no, thank you very much. I'm <laughs> a ranger. I'm a ranger around here. Ranger? Yeah. <laughs> After uh, four thirty, no people stay here. All the people go. It's oh, just... why? Sometimes tourists lost their way and fall down. After four thirty, no find way and then go fall down. Sometimes people ah. broke the leg. Okay, okay. So it's dangerous when yeah. it's dark. Yeah, I'll take you some photo from here. Uh -huh. and, uh, tonight is uh, uh, cloudy. Yeah. The sun now go down and uh -huh. it's cloudy. Don't see sunset. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, tomorrow the weather change also. Tomorrow come rain. Uh, tomorrow. And wind and rain and cold as well. Tomorrow after tomorrow the weather is not good. Yes, it is. Cold, uh, rain. Today a little bit a bit cold. Yeah, today is very good. Today is very good. Okay, I didn't know there there are rangers here. You work here. So yeah, I work here from Hotes, this area. Yeah. Around there. No people stay here. So basically your job is to to make sure okay, that nobody yeah. is here. Yeah yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, you're doing a good job then. <laughs> yeah, I work twenty years I work here. Forty years? Twenty. Twenty? Whoa. Yeah. Wow. <coughs> Oh, it is so beautiful. <laughs> this is amazing. Jordan is such a beautiful country. Very beautiful. I am amazed each day and more and more. How from here is the theater, you see all the area from here. Wow. And which is the place where you can see the treasury from? It's, uh, it's from, uh, there, from there down. 
Yeah. But from here, Hollywood guide. From here, that's easy the way. Uh -huh. It, it would be somewhere from there, yes? Another one from the flat mountain, you go down. Should go down another side. But from here, it's uh, short, but we need a guide. Yeah, yeah. And it's too late today. It's, right. You come tomorrow? Uh, not tomorrow, definitely. But I don't know about maybe some next days. But I, I, I will have to see, think about it. Inshallah. But yeah, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah. So beautiful. I'll take some pictures. They're just burning some rubbish? No, oh, yeah, yeah, the fire there. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. thought maybe some no. some houses burning no, no, or no, no. just rubbish. Yeah, rubbish. <laughs> after uh, Crazy. after finished uh, fire uh -huh. tomorrow, everything uh, bring it and put it in plastic and take it uh -huh. to a different place there. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Monastery. I see monastery from here. Is is that the monastery? No, yeah, see the hall to the right, the hall like. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. To the right that... is the column. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's the monastery column. Okay, that's for the monastery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Right there is the little steps. Uh huh. And then uh, you see the trees in the, the end of the mountain. Yes. From there, there is small between the rock. You can go and continue street there. Uh -huh. You come back, there is a, if you come back, uh -huh. f from there you look to the left, you see the canyon, like canyon. Canyon, uh -huh. Follow canyon, you catch the steps down. Okay, and, and then I can get completely down. Get, get down. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Shukran uh, Jazilan. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Thank you. Have a good evening. This was something a bit crazy, <coughs> a bit strange. Uh, that was a ranger and he was there to ensure that nobody stays here after too late when it's getting dark because then people get lost and fall off the cliffs and break their bones and so on. So basically he was making sure that uh -huh, that's a sign that this is the path. So, yeah, basically he is making sure that everybody is safe, which is nice. Oh, there he is leaving. And uh, he showed me this way which is a shortcut, which I didn't have on my map. Well, I must say Google Maps don't have a lot of stuff here anyway. You see, friends, there's a donkey. Hi, donkey. Good friend. Oh, that's another sign. Amazing, amazing. These kinds of canyons, amazing stuff, my friend. That's the wrong way, is it? I think he showed me something else. It was difficult to see, but I think it wasn't here. Let me see, maybe it was near the donkey, or was it still here? The place is amazing, but there's one good news, friends. He told me that there are wolves who eat sheep and hyenas who kind of can attack people. But he said normally the hyenas live further away in those mountains. And what's even more important, he said that hyenas usually flee away from people. They don't attack normally. So that's kind of a little bit safer because I know already 
<laughs> that I won't make it before dark. Uh huh. Petra place. High place. Petra view. Okay. That was where I was. Huh. How do I get there? No, I'm not jumping there. I think I might get around there. Ah, these are the steps which he was telling me about, probably. I think that's the one. Pretty sure. Okay. That's quite amazing. Quite amazing to say the least. So, yeah, we got in here. Nicely. Nicely. Ah, I'm sweating, it's hot. Well, because I'm rushing. If I would be taking my time, I wouldn't be sweating, I think. Anyway, friends. And by the way, he was telling me, the ranger, that these tents, which we saw one of them, and then I saw one very far away, uh, these are Bedouins who are living their nomadic life. So properly living, yes, not just camping. Cool. And he said, many friends come from Italy, from other European countries who make friends with them, who, who sleep in their houses together with them. So it must be a cool thing. Well. Oh. That is it, my friends. This is it. You recognize this view, don't you? Wow. That's Petra's treasury. So, <laughs> it turns out that I will see it. And, and we were up there. Or there. It turns out I will see in my life Petra's treasury. Wow, wow, wow. That's something. <laughs> Is this cool, my friends, or what? Do you live here? I have three. Yeah, I live here. I go bring the stuff. Uh -huh. And you must welcome, guys. Fill your home. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. More your legs, I give you one to two. Uh huh. So beautiful place. Welcome. Fill your home anytime, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Shukran, Jazilan. <laughs> shukran, shukran. If you want, I give you one picture. Come and give you. <laughs> don't worry, my shop, I don't look for the money. I accept you, the friend, you know. <laughs> Michael Jackson? What is that? Uh, the donkey. Ah, uh, the donkey. You have donkey Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You come from up or from here? I came from up, yes. I, I was lo looking in many places around and... Uh, we got 10 minutes to the treasury, come here, still. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll be 10 minutes, Th the same way. Through the canyon, yes? Except more time. Uh-huh. Yeah, and we go this way, except more time to the treasury. We have to go up uh, to the headlight. It's far away, but you send me away. It is far, yes. I was walking uh, for a whole so day. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Is is there hyenas? Uh, is it dangerous or no? Where? Uh, here. No, no, no. It's uh, not dangerous. Not dangerous. No, no. Oh, that one. Uh, uh, not dangerous. Is uh, safe. Is good. Only thing is safe. Really. Uh huh. And uh, yourself, you are going uh, home, or where you are going now?
Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. You live in the village somewhere? In the cave? Yeah. Well, that's so cool. <laughs> I have always been thinking, how is it to live in the cave? No, no. Sorry? No cold. No cold? Yeah, no cold. Aha, uh -huh. it is very good because winter is warm and summer is cool. It's getting dark already. No, no, from down you see the tourists from here. Yeah. You must welcome Anitan to your home. Thank you. Shukran uh, Jazilan. Yeah. Amazing. You have all these steps even built. Oh. Yes? Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. No worry, no hurry. <laughs> That's good. Is here all of that was safe. Is, uh, we help the tourists, not for the money. Not, 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 if they don't have money, we help you, not only with, uh, with the money. You're so kind, thank you. Are you a Bedouin yourself? Yeah, I'm um, from Bedouin. Petra, Petra, Th yeah. That's amazing. I so, I'm so happy I met you. Very beautiful place. Be careful from here, your food. Uh huh, it yeah. can be slippery. Yeah, slowly, yes, yes, because it's sand. Yeah, it is so deep, this canyon. Huh? Very deep canyon. I didn't know it is so deep. We are down already. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Amazing. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Shukran. How to say bye bye in Arabic? Uh, Ma assalami. Ma assalami. Ma assalami. Ma Shukran. 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 That is amazing, my friends. and this is the treasury I feel a bit awkward to be here because I know I shouldn't be here yes sorry back okay okay shukran 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 he said I shouldn't be going in because they're closing finished yeah in such a canyon, in such a place, they have this treasury. So that is the Petra treasury in dark. It's already crazy dark, as you see. And... Oh, okay, shukran. <laughs> and what's most amazing, I don't know if you will see in this darkness, but there, this canyon is very deep and quite big and there is no apparent exit so that's why probably they build it here because it's so secluded, so safe so easily protectable and this probably is the very narrow exit you see, you don't even see the sky how narrow this canyon is like literally like a small tunnel with a very very narrow strip of sky and that's how you get into the place with the treasury that's amazing that's amazing my friends so I guess probably here we have to go out because Everybody else knows how to get out because they have come in. I haven't. <laughs> I came from complete outside from the mountains. And 
it was actually quite strange situation what happened because I was walking on that mountains the shepherds told me the way where I should go then I went there and then the ranger he literally he didn't even ask where I want to go or how he said no you must go there there nobody nobody is allowed wow I don't know if you see anything it's probably too dark I'm oh, so sorry <laughs> it's it's so beautiful but it's so dark uh, yeah you don't even see much of the sky in this narrow tunnel amazing wow and you see these waters yeah you don't see probably sorry my friends you don't see <laughs> these water channels <laughs> along the rock face yeah but what I was starting to tell I had this very awkward situation when when the ranger he was just saying no you, d you don't go there meaning where I came from you go there uh, it's too late it's dangerous you can fall down you need to go there and you have to go on, on that other route which he showed and then when he showed it uh, then I went and then I met another guy the, the Bedouin who lived there and that guy was just saying no no you need to go down and at the end I ended up to be at the Petra treasury down where the, where the tourists are where I shouldn't be <laughs> it's a, such a miserable thing I don't feel good because I don't have money to pay for that thing and I don't feel happy being here without the ticket but there's nothing I can do these guys just told me that I have to go there it's no question and when I went there I ended up to be where the tourists are because obviously they thought I'm one of those tourists uh, what can I do? I don't know nothing okay these canyons are amazing amazing I don't know it's such a pity that I can't show you it's so dark you won't see anything but there are some guys with a, with a flashlight with a torch so there is some light for me it's okay I can see where I'm going but for you I can show only the sky probably <laughs> nothing more this is how narrow is look here I can't even show you friends but it is very narrow like the bottom here is wider and the top was so narrow at that place it almost completely closed like almost like a cave instead of canyon amazing and it's so beautiful here so amazing I can understand why people pay this big money to get in here I can really understand it if I had that kind of money in my budget well I could save it from living somewhere cheaply and then coming here but that's not my situation now if I had it I probably would be paying for the ticket to be here as well and who knows someday hopefully I'll be coming back to Jordan when my business will be in a little bit better condition <laughs> and I will be able to pay for the entrance and explore properly all the places where the Bedouin guy was telling me about the monastery and, and uh, Tom and all the other places 
it's huge and it's a lot to explore it's better now i understand why why they are doing it for many days like you explore better many days so this must be the entrance into the canyon the beginning beginning of the canyon which we saw from high 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 up there far away and now we are here amazing here you can see a little bit of something because there is a light cool no climbing well <laughs> what we did all day but yeah what we did was you see those lights far away I wonder where I was huh. could I be just before those lights when I was up there I don't know at this darkness at the moment I think I should be yeah those lights are higher up and I was walking somewhere there and went up there and far away there so that's the entrance in the canyon which led us to the treasury or in my case I should say where I went from treasury here here's some other place where there is a light I don't know what it is some booth probably selling something I don't know this is a little bit more light and basically I'm just I have just joined tourists and I'm walking out of Petra towards Wadi Musa I bet you recognize this place my friends don't you? <laughs> uh, not good let's see what happens nothing happened It's funny, I already walk out through the same gate for the second time already. <laughs> the other day when I wandered in there and the horseman was telling me that I need a ticket so he directed me back out through here and that's what I did the other day. And today I was deliberately taking hi friends hi other friends uh, I was deliberately taking the route so that I wouldn't get into a tourist place so that I would be going up there through the city then through the trails and the mountains and looking on the place somewhere from above which is not a touristy zone but it turned out that unlike here where the entrance is where everything is fenced properly so you can't get in without a ticket there obviously is such a vast area you can't fence at all so there were no fences until this moment I don't know where I suddenly entered the touristy area the ticketed area I have no clue I was and I didn't have proper map either Google Maps mm, doesn't do justice for this place there are not many things from the satellite imagery I was able in my hostel to figure out that beginning which we took if you remember when the where was it like I think what was this building or was it that building that uh, local authority or what was it so from there I was able to figure out the trail 
because it was visible in satellite imagery. But further on, where we went, you saw it. There were no trails, just mountains and canyons and, and uh, oh, all kinds of stuff. So nothing is visible on satellite and Google Maps don't say anything about it, almost anything. So I was, I was aware where I am, I was aware which is on what side, like which direction is which, that's fine. But I wasn't aware where are the places, where can I go through and where will be those crazy steep places which you can't pass. I wonder Oh, let's go the civilized way. Enough of uncivilized walking today. Uh, I was just thinking that the other way would be slightly shorter. But uh, this one has lights. And that one doesn't. So let's walk this way. So, yeah, I was climbing all kinds of mountains and, and you saw it all and uh, I was bumping into local shepherds, the Bedouins and everybody were just pointing me go there, no no, not there, you have to go there and uh, I felt kind of a little bit uneasy to ignore their help because they were really helpful and nice people, all of them well, one of them was kind of disinterested, but everybody else was very nice and kind and, and chatty and, yeah, nice people. So basically what happened was that I felt a little bit uneasy to ignore their help and say that, no, no, I will go the other way, especially because I didn't know exactly where, which is the way, and uh, as far as to the viewpoint I was actually happy to follow their directions because I wanted to get to that viewpoint uh, that was the whole objective of this day so that's all good but then when I got to that place to that viewpoint then that ranger caught me and that ranger he was very strict, like he was nice and kind and all, like I have nothing against him whatsoever, but he was very strict in the terms that I shouldn't stay here in the mountains, uh, darkness is coming and his work is to get me out of here. Um, his work is to make sure that nobody is staying up in the mountains when the sunset is approaching. The Bedouins who live there, yes, they can stay there, but all the foreigners must go down. And he literally kind of almost forced me to go down to that route for the treasury viewpoint, the treasury from above. I went there and there was a, another Bedouin guy who was again saying, I ah, need to go down. It's already late. You have to go down and from there you'll be able to get out and I unwillingly ended up to be in the tourist area in the ticketed area which I never wanted that was my whole point of today to avoid <laughs> that place but yeah I don't know what else could I do probably yeah probably I do know what I should have been doing if I knew that it will be so interesting I should have been leaving very early in the morning instead of after some works and then uh, it would be a bit cold in the morning as well but well I just had to take some jumpers with me so I should have been leaving good evening <laughs> uh, I should have been leaving early in the morning and then I would have enough time and in that case when I reach that high viewpoint area 
which was legally okay without tickets. Uh, at that point, uh, thank you, Shukran. Uh, at that point, what would happen would be that it wouldn't be dark. I would have a lot of time, so there wouldn't be any rush, and there wouldn't be a ranger who would force me to go down the tourist route. I could be easily able to go back the same way as I came. So that probably would, would be the thing which I should have been doing when I look now. But <laughs> how could I know it? Okay, friends, you see what happened. You see how it happened. But that's okay. Other than that situation with this ticket issue, everything else was just amazing. I don't know how to tell it. You saw these views and I can tell you guys from the pictures in the camera it's it, <laughs> it's a fraction of how impressive they are when you walk in real life so yeah friends I can definitely recommend you coming here if you have the money go and get the Jordan Pass that will be the more uh, most efficient way uh, it costs I think 70 dinars something like what would it be 95 euros something around that so and that would waive your visa fee you would get free visa which is already a good saving and that would give you entrance in all the places well in many places including this so then it would be free to come here and that's definitely the best way to go about these things if you have the money if you're doing on a very shoestring budget like me then my recommendation is try to get your ticket to Aqaba not to Amman because then you'll get free visa unless you get ticket for five euros like me and in that case it is worth getting it even if you have to pay for visa later in Amman so then from there you come here you stay in the cheapest hostel well cheapest I don't say it, uh, even at the very cheapest I stay in one level better than the cheapest because it's very affordable anyway like six seven euros per, per night that's all good so you stay in the cheap hostel and then you walk how I walked today but start early in the morning and then you can come back the same route without going into ticketed area or without being forced to go in there I should say probably but yeah it's really amazing it's a different world completely different world it's something I don't know how to describe it even <laughs> you're like on the Mars so I can e recommend Elon Musk just in case you will hear me one day <laughs> if you haven't been here which I doubt but if you haven't been here I could recommend you come here you'll get some good impression how is life on Mars <laughs> of course that's a joke on Mars it wouldn't be such a pleasant temperature and all the other stuff <laughs> but it's the closest probably you can get to that well that's where it came from far far there was the entrance to the Petra there was the touristy part and we came all the way up here and here so yeah friends what can I tell I'm approaching to my hostel already that will be it for today I am tremendously happy about how this day happened and about all the things which I saw and all the people which I interacted with it's such a nice place I don't know how to tell it amazing amazing 
Yeah, friends, recommend if you haven't been here, come, come, especially if you can get a, a ticket from Europe for five euros like I got. Oh, it's a shame not to go <laughs> and not to visit this place. It is crazy how tired I am. <laughs> when I'm now walking through the town, it's nothing so interesting anymore, just the usual stuff. I just feel so tired. <laughs> but it will be good, it will be good. Uh, prayer time again. Yep. And I finished my waters already. I can show you how I do. I have my rucksack and I have hanged just my empty bottles. So it's out of my hands. Handy. Yeah, friends, I think that will be it for today. And I'm immensely happy about this day and immensely tired at the same time. Ah. <laughs> and my ankle is reminding about itself already a good time ago. So tomorrow, guys, will be no walking. No walking, definitely. Also, tomorrow weather will not be good. And that Bedouin, that nice guy who had Michael Jackson, the donkey, uh, I was already telling him he was inviting me to come tomorrow as well to him, to his house. But I was honestly already saying him that I will see about my ankle. But by this time I already know what it will be. <laughs> the story tomorrow will be no walking just pure work guys pure work nothing else okay friends all the best to you my dear friends all the best <laughs>